today we're taking a look at some inexpensive but highly recommended watercolors. These are the Yarka semi-moist watercolors. I've heard these referred to as children's grade or student grade, and they were imported by Jack Richson, which is um, sort of a watercolor, well, he is a watercolor artist, but he also has a watercolor brand. Um, so I have used other Yarka products in the past when I was doing the early pages of 7-inch Kara, and I'm sure I can dig that set up at some point, especially if you guys are interested. But we're gonna look at the student, student grade paints today, and already, on the front of the case, it says all natural pigments can stain, use with care, which gives me hope that these paints are a little better than your run-of-the-mill student grade. And these are actually from Dollar Tree. I picked them up a year or two ago when I was doing my affordable art supply series. And I don't think I even got around to swatching them. So, I mean, we're gonna need some comparison, right? And I have swatched Up and Up watercolors this is from Target and Crayola watercolors before. So you can check out natosoup.blogspot.com in the affordable art supply series. So we're gonna open this. It's got a unwelled lid. So this could be perfect for mixing small amounts of color. color. It's got this paper insert. It's got a really garbagey brush that we're just gonna throw away. I mean, look at that. And then we have 10 wells of color. And it looks like we have no white, which is nice. I hate it when they waste our time by including a white. Um, a two blues, two greens, two reds, an orange, and then a brighter yellow, plus a green and a black. So it's really not a bad collection of color, but it seems like maybe it's the same. Yeah, almost. But we'll take a look at this set at another time. And the wells for this set are fairly generous. And I believe I paid like $5 um, and with my Prime membership. So it's also a very affordable watercolor set. So I've heard a lot of really good things about it. So let's go ahead and get to swatching. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use a little spritzer bottle. We're gonna spritz these semi-moist pans. And in order for them to be semi-moist, I assume there's a fair bit of glycerin in them. And not that glycerin is a problem, it's a pretty common filler, uh, but it can affect how your paints dry. And then we're just gonna use these Neo Sable synthetic Sumi brushes for swatches. These are very stiff bristled brushes, so if, um, if there might be a difference in color between if you're using, say, a soft, natural, brush or if you were using a synthetic, but I have a feeling most people using these would be using a synthetic. Oh, that's not a blue, that's a purple. It's a nice black though, it's like a carbon black. And these were recommended to me by my friend Kabocha. She is a fellow comic artist who also enjoys watercolor and traditional media and you can check out her work at shooting-stars.org and in the comics section you'll find a link to her comic linked. All right so that's the basic swatches. These are decently intense colors. I think they fare a little bit better than my Crayola swatches did. Of course the only way to really tell is to put these sort of things through a field test. And unfortunately for me, that means a fair bit of work. So I will check in with you guys. I think I'm gonna do a field test on the other half of the page. I'll check in with you guys in a bit and we'll do that. 